The White House now promises to appeal after a judge blocks the president's executive orders on immigration. Good morning, I'm Miranda Khan, and this is your Newsmax Now update. A U.S. District Judge in Texas issued the injunction yesterday. It now blocks the orders that shield millions from deportation. The ruling gives more than two dozen states challenging the orders time for their lawsuit. Investigators in West Virginia are trying to figure out what caused an oil train to derail. Take a look at that. Fires burned for hours after more than 100 tanker cars jumped the tracks, setting off more than a dozen explosions. We saw the train explode, well, a car explode, and it shot up a mushroom cloud about as high as this room is now, like that. At least one tanker car ended up in a river near the tracks. One person received treatment for smoke inhalation. Wow. The prosecution's expected to rest today in the trial of the man accused of killing American sniper Chris Kyle. Jurors saw a video of Eddie Ray Rouse's confession yesterday. In it, he admitted to killing Kyle and veteran Chad Littlefield. He said he was sorry for what he did. Rouse's lawyers are using an insanity defense. And the snow just keeps coming. Boston still digging out from several feet of snow and another four inches could fall today. Several inches fell in D.C., shutting down government buildings. Much of the Northeast is also being hit by bitter cold. In Philly, fighting a fire turned a building into an ice sculpture. Take a look, isn't that, it's almost pretty but eerie at the same time. The ice has been a major problem across the south, leaving roads very slick, as you can see. Memorials continue to grow in Copenhagen following this weekend's deadly shooting. Danish intelligence officials now say there was no sign that the gunman was planning the attacks. Earlier today, a suspicious package was left at the Cultural Center where he opened fire on a free speech event. No explosives were found. Egypt's president is now asking for the U.N. to give the green light to an international coalition to go into Libya. He says the country could quickly turn into a breeding ground for terrorists. Egypt has already sent two waves of fighter jets into Libya, bombing ISIS installations after the terror group killed 21 Egyptians. Well, forget the Armani suit, the star of New York's Fashion Week, maybe the Ebola suit? A Baltimore wedding dress designer has teamed up with John Hopkins University, their mission or inspiration, if you will, to create a better suit for people working with Ebola patients. And that was your very latest Newsmax Now update. We'll have more coming your way in about a half hour.